good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Yes, it's hump day. Happy hump day, y'all. It's hump day. <laughs> anyway, I hadn't talked to y'all this week and I kind of came with shorter, shorter, uh, sort of share a weekly word. And I just want to talk about patience. I was thinking about myself and that sometimes I can be a little impatient, you know, with things. And I think that we all have that. You know, we're in a situation or we want something to happen and we move before it's time to move. You know, we always trying to fix it, you know, ourselves. We say we pray about something and have faith, but we tend not to let things go because we're just in a hurry to get things done. And sometimes, you know, when you move too fast, you make the wrong choices, you know, and it's like every up happened, something happened. You think you're tired of waiting on something to happen, but sometimes God have you sitting still for a reason. And I often equate that sometimes you kind of, you know, you sit in traffic sometimes. And I have sat in traffic and you get there just so kind of flustered in traffic and, and just like, oh, I wish I could get through this traffic. But you've gotten through that traffic and you found out that it was some type of horrible accident or whatever. You just don't know what God is protecting you from. And it was the little, just the little things that kept people covered and protected. I remember a lot of people telling their testimony in the 9-11, you know, how they would have been in that building otherwise, you know, but it was just small things. And sometimes we just have to learn how to move in God's time, you know, because you never know what God is protecting you from or shielding you from or, you know, covering you from you know and so i you know I often think about that because you know you want this to happen or that to happen and it doesn't happen and you just get so frustrated but what god does for you is he gives you the tools that you need and he never leaves you while you're going through these things to have the strength you know to go through the test and be in the storm you know, he has all the rain gear for you. He has you covered while you're going through the storm. And he brings you out a new creature. You can be a testimony for what, how good God is. So somebody else who's going through that can see what she made and I can make it too. God sustained her. God was with him. God was with her through the test and through the trial and through the tribulations. And when he put you, you know, put you in a new situation, you know it wasn't nobody but God. You know, he bring you out better than what your even wildest imaginations were. Well, you was all trying to figure out and you had something small plan. God had something bigger for you. So, you know, and I have to practice. I'm telling you, because sometimes I'm like, and I've learned when I get frustrated in stores, I just talk and pray and find something else to do. Talk to some of the other people that's in line or do whatever, because you never know what your interaction with somebody else may be. You may be put there just to have an interaction with somebody who may not even had anybody to speak to them today, who may not have had anybody just to say hi or smile at them. You just never know why God is sitting you still, but it's always for a reason. So learn to just pray, enjoy the time, even if you're going through, be thankful for that go through, because God is with you. And just learn to sit still and, patient, and patiently wait on what God has in store for you. Because I promise when he answers you, and when he brings you out, it's going to be better than what you even anticipated. Because when God moves, he moves in a mighty way. I just want to encourage y'all today on patience because I know that's something I still struggle with. It's not like I got it all figured out. It's still something I have to pray for and I have to remind myself when I go to get impatient, just sit down, sit still, and wait. You sit still for a reason. But y'all, I want y'all today to make sure that you take the time out to speak to someone, to smile at them, you know, and just to acknowledge them because you never know what somebody else is going through in this world. And sometimes just to have somebody say hello or even speak or smile to them makes a difference in their lives. It makes a difference in their day. Touch somebody today. Encourage somebody. Feed positive into your children, into your spouse, into your friends, even into those who don't you don't think like you. Your enemies. Speak positive. Encourage them also. Pray for them. Pray for others. Y'all know you're loved. I love you. But God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Bye.